You know, now that I've actually had a ongoing run for the better part of a year now of videos uh, posting as a skeptic or posting as, you know, just a, a, an honest free thinker trying to understand a large chunk of these paranormal and more important issues, I think there's some parts about my uh, past which I now feel comfortable talking about. Um, as I've said in a couple of other videos, I took a sailing trip around the world back when I was in my early preteens. Um, having Asperger's and being raised in a family with, uh, ironically, a father who's quite religious, but um, he's nowhere near evangelical, but he actually believes in evolution and believes in science. He said that his belief to God came um, in his approach of trying to find an Occam's razor for stuff like the Gosh numbers at the beginning of the universe and all that. Now, that's not my whole thing, but I will tell you this. Um, I've had psychic experiences, or what I could call psychic experience, from age 11 onwards. I had experiences in telepathy and other things. I started seriously looking at this sort of stuff as part of my sailing trip around the world, trying to understand the other cultures and that sort of thing. When I got back to Canada, um, I started having religious experiences, um, you know, visions, that sort of thing. Um, and uh, one of the prominent ones which I had was um, near the end of my um, 18th year, uh, well, you know, just basically having, uh, uh, um, actually, I should probably run this back a little bit further. Um, back when I was in my, uh, around 14, around the turning time, I was having a little bit of crises and stuff like that. I started having visions of Christ coming and telling me about stuff about unity of all mankind and the unity of religion. Less than a couple of weeks later, I hear about the Baha'i school, wh whose religion I never heard of before, and was teaching that exact same sort of thing. Coincidence? Possible. Interesting that they were an international school working on the unity of humanity, and interesting the fact that I've been uh, had the lucky experience of being able to sail around the world for four and a half years thanks to my dad getting an unexpected windfall. Things seemed like they were lining up, and at this point I was kind of religious, so I believed, okay, God's helping me, so I've got to. Uh, so I figured, okay, God's helping me and putting me in a school where I've got to learn, so it's my job to work my butt off and get a good education. Again, part of my own responsibility. I later, uh, as I was graduating from high school, um, I was being uh, a pro um, the principal of the school had become much more totalitarian, a lot less logical. Um, again, I've always been in a logical mindset, even when I tried to apply to religion. And I noticed inconsistencies. So I started just praying for guidance, and I got some. I got a, a vision which replied back, which told me, and I'm getting to my main point here, uh, which told me about the fact that supposedly I had been an angel. Uh, in a previous lifetime before I'd come to Earth, and that my job was supposed to be here to help compile information, so this way, um, you know, in the event of a techno-ecological disaster for humanity, this was long before I'd heard about cosmocracy, mind you, that, um, you know, or long before I'd actually been talking to my dad about it and, you know, hearing about the science fiction writers and all that sort of thing, um, that basically if there was ever something like that, that a new society could be built from that. Well, um, or, or, you know, of, of knowledge and stuff like that. Well, the thing is, I thought about that for a long time. I went to university, became a political science student, got disgusted with that, and switched over to hard science. And the thing, of course, is, though, is that was interesting is that I got guided into hard science, not so much partly just due to that, but more so due to the fact that I was trying to understand in a scientific framework, um, uh, you know, I've been doing this for the past four years now, the psychic experiences I was having. I started doing uh, tests online, uh, um, gotsci.org, uh, Formilab, um, the one that, uh, uh, um, some of whose results uh, I've posted up there, other ones of which were remote viewing tests and couldn't be tested for statistical significance. Um, the psi tests, which I've already done now, I'm still involved in those. Um, you know, but the thing is, what's interesting about that is um, I moved to skepticism, or something of skepticism, after having taken a good look at both the believer and the skeptic sides. When I was originally in university, I took a religious studies class where I actually um, printed an essay debunking uh, large chunks of secular humanistic philosophy that were brought up due to contradictions. I now look at those same contradictions and realize that they're just simply weaker arguments um, trying to support a much larger, uh, better theme. Now here's my overall point about the, about the experiences. You see, the thing is that even though I'm a skeptic, and even though I'm an agnostic, I still don't think that they were worthless. Coincidence or not, I learned a great deal about international trying to help out your fellow man from the school, uh, from, you know, from, the, from the religious school I went to, because what it did was it reinforced the, uh, the messages and the, and the ideas which I was trying to learn for solutions towards the problems that I'd seen during my international travels. Here's another thing, which is an interesting coincidence. I got back to be able to uh, retain the remainder of my logic in international schooling, September 6, 2001. My world trip ended then. My passport, which is still from that time period, uh, as you can see, uh, expired right over here on September 11, 2001. Another interesting coincidence? Um, here's another one. 
the uh, Maharishi, uh, Yo uh, Maharishi Maharesh Yogi Institute um, sent in 600 meditators during the Kosovo bombings into uh, uh, Bratislava in Slovakia to try to uh, get the bombing to stop. According to their official release, after a pinnacle of 600 meditators, the bombing stopped for an entire day. Coincidentally, that was the day that we were trying to check out, uh, that my family were stuck in, the, uh, uh, in Belgrade when it was bombing, and they actually, um, and a certain Yugoslav official contacted NATO High Command to let them know that four dumb tourists were stuck in the river, and NATO stopped bombing for an entire day so we could get out. Well, maybe that was one good tourist amongst a bunch of people committing atrocities. I don't know. These coincidences are worth investigation. But I think the bottom line is, though, is that here's my bottom line about my, about my thing, the angel or what have you. I, don't, I think it was a metaphor. Angelos, in the original, uh, in the original New Testament, uh, the Greek version, literally translates as messenger. Now, I'm not saying any of this stuff to support parapsychology or to, to support the existence of psychic powers or to support religion. Quite the opposite. I believe, and here's my theory, just bear with me here. If Angelos means messenger, what message are we needing most in, our, in a technological society right now? What we need is we need a message for people who don't understand science, who are short-termed and thinking that, oh, our technological society is going to last forever, including government leaders, including um, the average person who doesn't really think about science. Like I mean, like they even, even if they get the terms about critical thinking, they still might not necessarily think about what it fully means to be a critical thinker. You know, to, to actually take a look at all possible issues. To constantly reevaluate one's own positions. I mean, I constantly evaluate both my beliefs and, and my skepticism constantly daily. And I try to, uh, you know, look on constantly new information. But maybe that's the message. Maybe that was meant when I, maybe it was just my own brain, uh, you know, rationalizing in that whole angel bit was not meant to be a religious experience, but my own brain con calculating in a religious mindset to help lead me over, uh, you know, you know, thinking and calculating long-term subconsciously that I needed to move into a, an agnostic, skeptic, scientific position mindset and to bring the message of critical thinking and eventually what I learned about space colonization and stuff to the public to be, uh, you know, to mention that it's absolutely essential for critical thinking right now in this day and age. Maybe that's my goal. I mean, as an Aspie, I have this capability for, for linguistics and I seem to be doing well with these videos. Maybe that's my job. You know, to be a critical thinking messenger, to, uh, to be a messenger for critical thinking, if you will, uh, like everyone else is. Um, somebody once said that we are all spiritual beings having a human experience. Uh, another person once said that we are all angels in a way. Well, maybe they were right, but not in the way they thought. If, as critical thinkers, if we have this capability for logic and for reason, maybe that is our job, to bring the ideas, you know, to bring ideas forward, to be messengers of ideas, and then to constantly try to take in more, to try to take in more message, resynthesize, and then move out with further strengthened messages of, of critical thinking, of, of uh, you know, of, of free thought, of, of secular humanism, of, of these sort of ideas. Maybe that's what our jobs are. Maybe we are the angels, if you will, or the messengers for a new age. A new age of critical thinking, a new age of out of backwards from superstition, a new age of going towards better technology and equality for the human race. You know, maybe we're moving into that new epoch and paradigm, you know, of, of, of scientific thinking, of reason, of intellect, of logic, of less, less reliance on emotion. Maybe we're trying to be messengers of trying to avoid clouding emotion with logic. Maybe that's my job. Maybe that's your job. But you see, that's the, that's the whole context. Maybe these older messages can be reformatted for a new day, so this way we can help. Um, in one of my previous videos, I did a thing where uh, scripture supported evolution. Sometimes these older ideas can be reformatted for a modern day to bring people back into what it means to be a human, uh, you know, to be a human in a scientific mindset, you know, uh, where we don't have need for a god or stuff like that. Just a thought, people. I'd be interested in your replies. Heck, again, that's the whole idea of this, isn't it? Debate, critical thinking, free will.